What do you get when you combine Nestle Crunch chocolate bars with Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee mocha flavor? I call it Dunkin' Donuts Mocha Coffee Crunch Milkshake. That's right. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this Mocha Coffee Crunch Milkshake using these two brands we love. Stay tuned. This one's good. Alright, you'll need a Dunkin' Donut iced coffee bottle drink mocha flavor. I got this at the 99 cents store for 99 cents, but I also saw this at Walmart for $2.50. You could probably use any mocha iced coffee, but Dunkin' Donuts one is really good. We're going to use half of the bottle, which is almost a cup. So you see I have half of it left in there. And we're going to use four large scoop of vanilla ice cream. And we're going to use a one and a half ounce Nestle Crunch Bar. This has four mini breakable bars in a pack. We'll first use two of it and you can crush it down with a spoon. This will be used in our shake. Once you're done with that, add that first into your blender and then your mocha iced coffee. And your four large scoop of ice cream. And we'll blend for 30 to 50 seconds. And that there looks so good, like a coffee mocha malt. I blended mines for about 30 seconds because I wanted some chunks of Nestle Crunch in my shake. But if you want yours to be more finely crushed, then just blend it longer. Okay, and with the two remaining mini bars that we have, we'll take one and we'll crush it up again. This will be our sprinkled topping. We'll add whipped cream to the top of the shake. And now we'll grab our crushed Nestle Crunch and sprinkle it over the whipped cream. I decided to add a little more whipped cream to make it a little taller and then I sprinkled the crumbs over. And with the last remaining chocolate bar, just add it to the top for a little sweet decor. And there you have it, the Dunkin' Donuts Mocha Coffee Crunch Milkshake. This mocha coffee and Nestle Crunch pair perfectly together as a milkshake. Hope you give this one a try. Thanks again so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.